and you can hear so in today's video we are going to look at how to have your text overflow it boundaries even out of the viewport and how when you scroll down you can have the text just scroll into the viewport just like this so that is what we're going to do using breakdance all right um so first and first let's go into um the back end so i'm here i'm just going to come in here so i don't already have this laid out here so i'm going to remove just this because that is what we want to focus on um so let me just click on that okay so since that is gone what i'm going to do is let me just save this again and click on this section because we're going to have it in this section go to add then we are going to add a heading text right let me bring the heading text to the top and the text that we want to use i am going to go back into the front end. i just want to copy this because i am lazy so copy that and then go back in here and i'm going to paste this text and also make sure that this is smarter all right so this is the text that we do have we can add a bit of um, styling to it so in here i'm going to change the color to something like this and for font if you are actually building this for like um a real website you might want to use um clams or whatever that is going to make your font more responsive um since this is just a tutorial i'm just going to use 120 so 120 i think let's say like 165 right Let's see 165. So after doing that, you can see that the text has broken down to the next line. We don't want that. We want the text to be in one straight line. So to do that, we are going to go into the advanced tab over here by clicking on this card icon, go into the advanced, and then we are still the heading is selected as you can see. So I'm just going to click down here. The selector is already pre-filled. Um, the CSS that we want to actually use is called white space. So white space, is what we are going to use to make sure that the text is in one line. So I'm just going to type in Y and then dash and then space and then the column sign. All right. So after doing that, there are a few options to that. Since we want it to be in one line, we are going to use the, um, the value no wrap and then let's close that. All right. So when you do no wrap, this is what you are going to get. I am going to save this and then let's go into the front end and then see what you've done. All right. So we have something like this so we do have our text now overflowing boundaries and also if let's say you are building it in a div you want to make sure that the div has an overflow so when i go in here go to modify you show my, my overflow is hidden if my overflow is not hidden let's say uh overflow is removed you might see an overflow option happening over there all right so make sure that always you have overflow if you are doing something like this you have your overflow hidden Right, so my setting, I'm just gonna save that. All right, so the next thing is I'm going to apply the animation that caused this or the scroll animation that we do have. All right, still in this card icon, I am going to go down to animation and then scroll animation, click on that. And here I'm just gonna enable it. And when I scroll, nothing is gonna happen. We want it to happen horizontally. So click on horizontal. And then I am going to say that it starts at zero. And in the middle, I'm going to leave the middle like that. At the end, I'm going to say I want it to end at negative 300. All right. So when you come, it looks something like this. And when you scroll, it goes that way. We can save that and then go into the front end. So when you start scrolling, you can see that it is coming out just like that. Um, probably what we might want to do is tweak it a bit more go in here go into the horizontal probably we want to say that the bottom should be probably um let's say i think 35 is good 36 is not bad and the top of 100 so we can see that when we scroll it goes like that and by the time it gets to um 100 let me just refresh this so by the time it gets to 100 everything probably is in frame we can go back and then just tweak it a bit more by moving this all the way to like uh 75 and then when we come to the front end and then we scroll so by 75 of it everything should probably be in front all right so this is um a short little video to show you how to make this um text the full text and then also how to add a bit of a scroll to it to give it that kind of um like scroll animation that you do see Name is Nyako. This is Obi Studio. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.